What's up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Aaron Nix. This is the WrestlePlug YouTube channel, and this is WWE Raw in three minutes. Let's get a counter on the screen, and let's get cracking. Raw opens with women's wrestling. Hooray, they haven't had enough of that. Unfortunately, we can't enjoy it because we need to have stupid shenanigans. Six women's tag team match, unfortunately, gets interrupted by Alexa Bliss, who then says that Lily has her eye on somebody. The team of Asuka, Mandy Rose, and Dana Brooke picks up the win, courtesy of Asuka pinning Shayna Baszler, whose leg appears to be stuck due to shenanigans. Has Letty got her eye on Shayna Baszler? I hope not, because Shayna Baszler has gone for enough shit, and frankly, she'll be burying Alexa Bliss the first opportunity she gets. The Fiend and Alexa Bliss were great together. I have no idea why they're not together at the moment. One thing I do know is that, frankly, this is a really subpar alternative to what we were getting, and frankly, what we were getting was getting old real quick. It's the return of the modern day mo Raja, Jinder Mahal, Jinder Hardbody Mahal is back in the house and he wrestles Jeff Hardy in a match and he beats him summarily with the Colas and I am so happy because Jinder Mahal is amazing and all you haters out there can suck my chode if you don't like it. All joy aside, however, he does have two guys with him, one half of Indashir who is now called Veer and Shanky. Terrible names, terrible look, change them or bring the other guy from Indashir back and make it a faction. AJ Styles is backstage. He says that his beard is aerodynamic. And then Omas crushes a tomato. Great stuff, USA. Great stuff. The team of New Day and RK Bro take on AJ Styles, Omas, Elias, and Jackson Riker. This is a really good eight man tag team match. It's all about Omas being completely invincible as always, which I'm not a huge fan of. Gotta say, I'm rather shamefully enjoying RK Bro a little bit more than I should do, even though Matt Riddle is a complete and utter fucking tool. Randy Orton picks up the win by hitting an RKO on homeless Randy Savage, while Omas is distracted on the outside, therefore avoiding the idea of him getting an actual defeat. Not bad. Not bad. Rhea Ripley versus Asuka one on one. Shock horror, this is the best match of the night. It's excellent, it's fantastic. Charlotte Flair's at ringside being a dirty shit eating heel. She kind of gets involved but doesn't lead to an ever so slight distraction. But Rhea Ripley gets the riptide on Asuka and picks up the win. Not gonna lie, I could give two shits about WrestleMania Backlash right now. However, that triple threat match for the Women's Championship should be absolute fire. Looking forward to that and we'll watch just for that match. And in your main event, it's meaty, 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 meaty. A few moments later. Meaty hoss time as Bobby Lashley, your reigning and defending WWE champion, takes on Let's Do and Blue, Drew McIntyre, in what was, did I mention? Meaty, 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 meaty. Seven hours later. Hoss fight. It's not a bad match. It's a bit sluggish. It's a bit slow. And it's made worse by the fact that Braun Strowman comes down and goes, Me Braun. Me no like everybody. Me smash. Disqualification. Match gets thrown out, of course, because you can't have either man take a high profile loss this close to a pay-per-view. Raw goes off the air with Braun Strowman standing aloft over both men, including a rather meaty looking power slam through the barrier to Bobby Lashley. And with the buzzer, that brings us to the end of our brief flirtation with WWE Raw. Gotta say, not actually that bad. Not fantastic, but a massive and marketable improvement on what I have seen from WWE Raw. And of course, the modern day Maharaja was in the house. So it would have got 5 out of 10, but because he's on it, it's 9.5 out of 10. I deducted half a point because Alexa Bliss is really starting to get on my tits. However, she does look fine. Hopefully you've enjoyed the three minute review of WWE Raw. In fact, if you've enjoyed it enough, please, please, please give us a subscription and check out our other content as well. We've got loads of great interviews, loads of content flying around on the channel. From myself, Aaron X, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you very soon for more content from the WrestlePlug.